Hello guys! I want to talk with you about warts today. In German, warzen. I mean, this word said a lot. I wasn't sure about doing this video in English or in German, so I just said, fuck, I just do it in English. So, um, I was, as you maybe see, I have my pyjama on. I was really getting ready to, to sleep and I was like massaging my feet a little bit and I was just so happy and grateful because I used to have a wart, like a huge one just here and on my middle finger. As you see now, there is nothing. So it was around 13 years. It was on my finger. I used to like hang on with, 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 with fabric sometimes or when I was doing the wash, like the dishwashing, then it used to get even bigger and it was really ugly and I could even like look inside, you know? And with my feet, it was the same. Like there is really, there is nothing. There's like a little, 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 just a little cute white spotty spot, but it's like, it's like nothing, like literally nothing. And I used to be very ashamed because it really, um, I defined it as ugly. Um, I used to get to love it, to love myself with it. But still, you know, it was like when I was going bare feet and there were little stones, it really used to hurt. So in this video, I want to tell you how I healed it. And um, because it's just, um, I'm just so happy about it. And I want you to uh, be happy about um, your body too. So my name is Christina and I am an expert in psychosomatics because I used to heal myself by the age of 15, 16 from a lot of diseases. So I got a lot of knowledge by God, universe, source itself and combine it with a lot of um, studying and other courses later on. And this word was like not leaving me. And there was also a little bit like scratching on my healing healer ego <laughs> if there's something like a healer ego it was scratching on it because i was like how can i like heal heart pain by myself for myself and for other people but i cannot fucking leave this word on my feet you know so there are a lot of books also where you can uh that you can learn a lot of this knowledge from um especially in german there are books like Barometer der Seele by Jacques Martel or this huge book this one Schlüssel zur Selbstbefreiung by Christiane Berland this is just like German examples there are also a lot of um, dictionaries let's say or encyclopedias encyclopedias why do I make this video in English. Well, because I learned, right? Encyclopedias. Let's see what I actually wanted to say. How it actually sounds. Oh my god. Okay. I love myself. I love myself. It's okay. Mm. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Ooh. So, there are a lot of books. They're like encyclopedias. <laughs> Damn. In English that tell you the psychosomatic meaning behind a disease. So the thing is also that the word was on my left feet and the left side is the feminine connected uh, topic and the right side is the male connected topic. So I knew, okay, left side feet has to do something with grounding. I can also see the reflexology, what kind of um, organ is it connected to? It was like the lung, so it has something to breathe, feminine, okay, right side. It was my middle finger, um, so middle finger <laughs> is connected with anger, frustration, and sexuality. And it was on my, on my right side, so I was like thinking about these topics, what it had to do, blah, 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 but I couldn't go through it. Um, 
And I started actually like visiting, um, checking out other people's. I went to a shaman and stuff. And I felt after some point like, hey, I know that all the knowledge is inside of me. I can still, yes, get support, but but I, I can trust that I know. So at one point I was uh, together with a guy and he, um, he and me broke up and he told me that he had a sexual um, disease. So with, with my body, everything was fine. And I actually, we, well, we didn't even have sex. So it was, you know, there was, there was no risk or um, anything how we could, how I could get this from him. But it triggered me so much and it disgusted me so much. And while I was feeling that feeling, my, uh, my ward was tingling. And I recognized that. And so what I connected with it was like, okay, so when I feel disgusted in terms of sexual diseases, for example, and my work is tingling, then I have to follow this trace, right? So what I did was I said, okay, apparently the feeling had to do with disgustment, which of course is very, very clear. If I just look at my ward, or I was looking at my ward, and it made me feel like ashamed, disgusted, you know, all these feelings. It didn't make me feel angry, right? It made me feel disgusted. So whenever you have a ward, check what you feel when you touch it or when someone else is touching it. Sometimes it actually like the belly is like, oh, it's like, going together a little bit when you feel ashamed or like if you feel disgusted. So first of all, you can take a big, big breath in, for example, if you feel it in the belly. But what I did, I was like scrolling it up the volume of disgustment. And I was like, okay, how can I go more into this feeling of disgustment? Um, I took my phone and I was Googling all these very, very super disgusting pictures of intimate diseases, sexual diseases. And while I was going through it, my face was like the whole time like this, you know, it was like really, it's really, the, the pictures are not pretty. But for me, it helped me to go into this feeling, to dive into it, to make it bigger and not suppress it as it apparently was suppressed on my side. So I took this feeling and while looking at these pictures, while really like having my phone there, not just like scrolling and like keeping it all in my neck, I was, I was checking my phone, I was seeing these pictures and I was breathing through them. I was breathing through them. I was burbing through them, you know, all what your body wants to release. Um, you can burp, maybe you have a, like uh, goosebumps funny why it's talking even now <laughs> it opens something up so going through all these pictures going through the emotion it made me accept this emotion or like hug the this emotion because wherever it comes from wherever it came from this kind of disgustment in connection with um with sexuality or sexual diseases um it may be from this life, it may be from another life, wherever it came from, but it was there and it was suppressed from my, from my point of view. And so feeling through it, I felt my ward was tingling more and more and more and more and more. And at some point I was actually like looking at it and I was like, I don't, I don't see these little black thorns anymore. Like what happened? Like, I had it for 13 years and then it came like it, 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 it was going away in front of like literally in front of my eyes. <clears throat> and that was just so amazing. So I want to share this with you because maybe you also have to do with this topic or, you know, someone who has to do with this topic and it's like, you know, for some people, um, it is totally enough to work on it physically to you know do this spray and stuff and this is all what i've done too um but it didn't work out apparently <laughs> so if your system 
let's say is a bit older all these things are not really working out anymore because your system is is focused on on on, on clearing it from the root you know not just like working on it on the surface and doing something physically for the most for a lot of people it's enough and it works and it's super fine and i'm so happy if it works but if you're this type of soul that needs it a bit more deeper then this could be um, this could be a nugget that you can start with, that you can say like, ah, okay, so first, where is it on my body? What is this body part actually telling me? Okay, think about it. Just go on it on a rational level, you know, just think about it. See, aha, uh -huh, maybe I have the word on my left middle finger okay left side is connected to feminine my feminine side maybe a feminine fem, like a, a female person that i know um middle finger is is anger sexuality like is there something in connection that maybe already is like aha uh -huh, yes there's something that i didn't solve that i didn't release and then you can actually have you know follow this trace or second as i as i as i said <laughs> or the second thing that I said, look at it and see what it makes with you. See what emotion is coming up. And then you can follow this emotional trace. And I know that sometimes it can be very scary to follow this emotion because sometimes our mind is like, oh my gosh, I never go out of this. You know, when we dive in, I will never go out. But I can tell you from my experience and maybe it, it is already helping you that it is it is what our body wants it's just like hey just see me you know or the word is like saying like hey hey i know i'm ugly but you know like just see me and feel me through and then i have to, and then i can go because i don't want to work here either you know i'm not getting paid anything for that apart from rejection <laughs> but if the word is 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 being acknowledged by us and felt through then the word is like okay cool you've seen me you got the info now i can go and so the word gets an award <gasps> <Woo -hoo! laughs> so yeah i hope that this video um helped you a little bit share it with uh with people that you know that maybe struggle with this issue and really don't know how to get it away and they really tried a lot of things and they really need to to dig into the root of it of the emotional source of the whole physical manifestation send this video to them leave a comment if it helped you and um Yes, so I'm very um, looking forward to post more stuff, to post more videos um, and share this, uh, this beautiful flowers of knowledge with you. My name is Christina. See you on the next video. And you can also, of course, like this, uh, like this video or subscribe to my channel. So see you here. Bye bye. Hee <laughs> hee. It's gone. <laughs>